Eight persons A, B, C, D, E, F, and G and H are sitting in a straight line from east to west. Some are facing north direction and some are facing south direction. Then certain values are given to us, and we have to determine the seating arrangement. If I remember, this question was asked in a uh, 2013 PO examination, and uh, these types of questions are being repeatedly asked. So let us try to solve this question and try to understand how we can solve such questions. First of all, uh, I suggest the two-pass approach, in which you make a number of passes. For example, in the first pass, you will read each of the statements and find out what is given concretely. Mark that. In the second pass, revise that. and keep doing that and after some time we do get the solution and the second thing is that you should not initially worry about the direction in which the people are sitting whether they are sitting in the north direction or south direction what you should try to read is as much of the concrete information as is possible for example uh, we can find out the relative location let us see how what i am trying to say here H sits to the third left of C and faces south. Okay, first of all, let us draw. At least we know that there are eight people, so let us draw eight blank spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. H sits to the third left of C and faces south. Concretely, it is given that H faces south and is to the third left of C. So this means one of these two is possible. This one, or this is possible. This statement simply tells us that there are two persons between C and H. H sits to the third left. So it's basically. Yeah, it could be this way or this way. There are two persons between them, and concretely, he has given us. Now, this is one thing is very concrete that two persons are sitting between them. Then, uh, and faces south. H is facing south. So, let us mark an arrow here to tell us that this is the direction for the H. Okay, next. F is sitting at the one of the extreme ends, and is facing north. this is also given concretely and this is all but he is said he is sitting at one of the extreme ends now we don't know whether he is on this side or this side so as a rough thing let us mark f below this and a small arrow he is facing north so f could be in either of these two places so we have written it below the sitting arrangement we'll revise it as we as we pass B and G are facing in the same direction. Now we don't know which direction, and person sitting between them is facing opposite direction. So the only thing we right now have is that B and G are having somebody in between them. So that gives us it is either B space G or G space B. So it is one of the things we don't know anything about the directions concretely at this point. Okay, A is sitting third from left end, and is facing south direction. Now this is very concrete. Third from left end and facing south. Okay, one, two, three. So A is here, and let us mark its arrow down because this is what we know concretely. This is not known, so I have written it below. So whatever is known and confirmed will be written at the top of this. A is sitting adjacent to E, and both are facing in opposite direction. So it means E is also not known where he is exactly. The only thing that is known is that E is either here or either here, and is facing upwards. So this is what uh, we have uh, at right now. D is sitting to the immediate right of B. and both are facing in the same direction okay d is sitting to the immediate right of b now this means that d is either like this or 
like this because right of b could be this also and this also and similarly if this is the case then it is g d b or g underscore b d so it is one of these four possibilities then he says c is facing in the north direction now this is something very interesting here c is facing north direction so we'll put a arrow upwards here and an arrow upwards here we don't know which is correct but we know that two spaces are there and the directions of c and h are known by this time so we can move up and see what was said there h sits to the third left of c third left of c means that this can't be because this will make him to the right so we'll cross it so this is confirmed with us now next a and d are not neighbors okay we'll verify it later neighbors of h are facing in same direction which is opposite to the direction of h now this means that h has two persons surrounding him neighbors of h are facing in the same direction which is opposite to the direction of h so here now i'll mark one underscore here that is the space and i'll also mark direction here this is up and this is up he says neighbors of h are facing in the same direction which is opposite to the direction of h so it has two neighbors and both of them are uh, facing upwards e sits to the right of a so here also i can mark now right of a would be this one so this means this is not possible so i'll cross it off and write e here and mark an arrow upwards so this i'll cross it out because now this is finalized so now basically we have to merge this chain and one of these four these chains have to be merged now okay let us now see the length of this chain is 5 so one thing is very clear that there are 5 to the right of a and f can't be in this because the length is so long that c is likely to be at one end and moreover a bigger space is required this side if f occupies one space then you can't fit these here f has to be at an end so i'll cut this off move this f upwards as confirmed so i'm reasoning it now that this is what should occur so basically now i have five slots here and five here and i have to fit one of these into this one i'll just do a hit and trial here so five here means i'll start testing with one of them let's test this one if it is g followed by h this space then b d c so if you can see this space fits into g this one the underscore on this side hooks into h and b this this vacant space and the next space d and c to the right i just picked this one just a hit and trial let me mark the arrows also so this should be facing upwards because of this h should be facing downwards and b should be facing upwards not any nothing known about this one and c should be facing upwards now let us assume that this piece will fit here and now let us take to the second pass h sits to the third left of c and faces south this is c h will be third left and will face south so it is okay f is sitting at the one of the extreme ends and is facing north this one also fits okay right and in case something goes wrong i'll just try to use the other one of these options so far it is right b and g are facing in same direction and person sitting between them is facing opposite direction b and g yeah it's okay g is upwards b is upwards and the person in between them is facing downwards so it is okay b and g are facing in the same direction and person sitting between them is facing opposite direction so so far it is also okay a is sitting third from left end and is facing south direction so it's okay as we already saw so third from left end and facing downwards d is sitting to the immediate right of b 
a d is to the immediate right of b b is facing upwards so right would be d and both are facing in same direction so okay direction of d was not known so we can now fix the direction of d as this one because b and d are supposed to face in the same direction c is facing in north it's okay a and d are not neighbored so a is here and d is somewhere away so this one fact is also correct and neighbors of h are facing in same direction which is opposite to the direction of h so neighbors of h are g and b and they are facing in same direction upwards and they are opposite e sits to the right of a e sits to the right of a yes because a is facing downwards so right would be towards this side so this is the arrangement that is required in this case i can just so this is how i have reasoned out based on these facts and this is how we should solve such types of questions